Hey guys, welcome back. KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Another video on the 9700 talking about D-Star functionality. This is a full-fledged D-Star radio. Uh, can be used on uh, VHF, UHF, and 1.2 gigahertz. The 23 centimeter 1.2 gigahertz will offer you DD mode. That's digital data mode. Like the ID1 from ICOM, you can do 128 kilobits a second digital data over D-Star. I don't have that function at the moment, uh, being that I don't have any repeaters around or people with the radio to do it, so that's in the future. But what I can tell you about is setting this thing up and getting it working on D-Star. I haven't opened the manual yet and still haven't looked online. Kind of walked through it myself to familiarize, familiarize myself with the radio on D-Star. And some people said they had issues getting it running, so we'll walk through it and show you just what it does with D-Star. If you've never talked on D-Star before, you have to first, before you do this, register your call sign on the gateway. That way D-Star passes your traffic through the gateway and reflectors and such. Given that you have probably already done that, first um, I will, I'm in DV mode now and I'll go into the menu. Now remember on the original video of the 9700 I showed that it had one more page of menu other than the 7300. It's got page two which has your digital uh, D-Star functionality, okay? And this is what you'll need to go into and set a few things in order to get this working. First thing we'll do is go to the DV and we'll put in the call sign. So I have mine, you can hold on here, go to edit, or you can add another call sign if you have multiple users. You can put your name, your call sign, and uh, put it in there. So you can have your wife's and your kids and field day event or whatever. The next thing you're gonna do, go back into the menu and go to GPS. Now. As I said in the previous video, I don't have the GPS, uh, GPS accessory to plug into this, but that's no problem. You can actually input your coordinates to the radio so that at least while you're stationary, you can see how far away you are from other users that are transmitting their GPS information over D-Star. So you go into GPS set. GPS will set it to manual because I'm gonna input the uh, coordinates. Go to uh, manual position and hold on latitude, go to edit, and this is if you don't have a GPS to plug in. So the latitude, I will do uh, 27, 78, I think, it, yeah, that's it, 55, 78. And for the longitude, okay, we have that set, hit enter. And the altitude, we could do uh, 15 feet, I think I'm at sea level. And uh, we'll write that. Okay, there's my position. Now, yours may be different. We'll go back here. We'll do the uh, GPS transmit. I want to transmit it over uh, DPRS, so that's um, over D-Star. It's going to transmit my position, um, or I can set it uh, as an object or weather station or whatever. We'll just do uh, object, and we'll do... Uh, home and I'll make the little symbol my uh, radio about that, okay? And a comment, if you want to put the comment in there, hey, uh, from Vero Beach or whatever. And then we'll go back here and we'll go to menu and we'll go to set. And you also want to go to my station. You should have your call sign in there. You can put your transmit message, uh, just Vero Beach or whatever you want, hey, from sunny California, whatever. Uh, if you're using DD mode, your call sign there as well. That should be enough to get you to set up on D-Star. Now, you can, this button over here, call, it's also got a DR on here. You hold the DR, you're in DR mode, okay? And now this operates much like your 51A, your 5100 and such. You can click the from and go to near repeater. And I want near uh, D-Star repeaters. And it's going to search. And look at this. This radio actually has an updated list. I know that because it's got Vero Beach in there. So that's the close repeater to me. That says 32 miles. My coordinates are off a little bit, but um, 32 miles. So we'll click on uh, Vero Beach, okay? And then I'll go up here to the two and we'll do reflector. You could do uh, local CQ, you know, gateway CQ. We'll do reflector, use reflector, okay? At that point, it's pretty much the same as my 5100. Um, I could put entries in there for uh, my hotspot so that I can go to the, the uh, open spot and do it that way. But right now, check it out. I should be on the local repeater. 
KJ4 YZI testing. Okay, and uh, it's telling me there's the repeater there. Now, if somebody comes back to me, if somebody's monitoring, they will see uh, my GPS coordinates and I'll see theirs. And um, then you could, you know, uh, save their position on the SD card. You could record the conversation if you wanted to with an SD card in here. You could record the uh, QSO. Let's go link. Let's link it to 30 Charlie. KJ4YZI, I'm going to link it to 30 Charlie for a uh, test. If there's any objections, please come down. I like to do that because you never know when someone doesn't want you linking their reflector uh, or repeater. They may not want to link it. So here's what we'll do. We'll go to the two reflector. We'll go to link. Actually, we'll unlink first. Key the button, a PTT rather. That just unlinked it. And then we're going to go to link direct input. Uh, 30 Charlie. Uh, that's great. Yep. There it is. Uh, I'm on 30 Charlie right now. Now I'll go back here and change this to use reflector or else every time you key up it's going to try to link it. So you want to go to use reflector. That's 30 Charlie right there. And I probably need to turn my beam a little bit. So there's John's uh, information there. He's 1,122 miles from me uh, on an ID51A plus two. And uh, so he's transmitting his uh, DPRS, his GPS. And you can see that on this button for that little arrow that's here. If I click that, I could turn it off, uh, GPS transmit mode. Do I want my information sending or not? I'll send it, yes. I'll unlink this reflector now just so that it's not linked up to 30 Charlie and keeps the work. system unlinked. Okay, we'll go to link reflector. Link currently established. So I set it back to the local reflector. It's all linked back up. Make sure if you're linking somebody's reflector and you don't know who they are, ask for permission or just throw it out there, see if there's objections and see if, uh, you know, they're interested or, and when you're done, put it back to where it was. One more thing I'll let you know, um, when you're on D-Star, now remember this, on my 7100, I ran my mic gain at 8%. At my 5100 in the vehicle, I run it one bar. There was like four bars for mic gain. On digital, with this radio and D-Star in general, you don't need to run more than 10, 15, 20% mic gain. Some people's voice just collides, at a frequency of their voice collides with the, the sound of D-Star, so they sound real muddy. And other people like to run this mic gain like they think they need to, like it's gonna get them more attention, but it's not. Half the time people avoid you, the other half are gonna tell you you sound horrible. You don't need to use it that high. 10%, um, start at 10%, ask somebody, how does it sound? Especially if you're mobile, you're gonna pick up every bit of background noise. But on D-Star also, if you want to make sure that you sound really good, if you have one of those voices that collides, uh, maybe, your maybe your voice is a frequency that just happens to be muddy on D-Star and you talk monotone, fine. Go to set, go to function, I'm sorry, tone control, and set your transmit and receive on DV for bass and treble. You could also do it for FM or AM, sideband. Set your DV to um, what sounds good. Ask for somebody's opinion. Uh, maybe you're too bassy already, dial the bass down, but get it sounding good. And uh, you'll get a lot of contacts that appreciate talking to you with a good sounding radio like this. So 7.3 guys, D-Star on the 9700 in a uh, attempt at a quick video, just to show you the basic on, it looks rather similar to what you're used to on an ICOM radio for D-Star. Sounds amazing. And uh, another reason to have this on your desk for me is, uh, all the options in this radio, such as D-Star. 73, KJ4, YZI.